Hi, my name is Leroy Herring. We invite you again today to another episode of Emmaus Road Podcast brought to you by Crossway Ministries. We invite you to join us each week as we bring you a short uh, Bible teaching uh, pertaining to various subjects that uh, we think <clears throat> would be beneficial to a large group of people. Uh, as we talk about these subjects, we ask that you follow us along uh, with your Bible, take notes, go back and check them out for yourself and see whether or not you agree with us in the positions that we take on various subjects. Uh, as we've said many times before, no one person has all the truth. And we are just looking <clears throat> at the Word of God from where I am currently as far as teaching the message of grace, proclaiming the message of grace, and looking at grace not as a topic, not as a uh, doctrine, not as a subject, but <clears throat> in my mind, grace is a person. Uh, the Word said that grace teaches us, and if grace is going to teach us, then it's going to be through the person of the Holy Spirit and through Jesus. But again, that's a topic we will cover later. <clears throat> We're continuing to look at various uh, traditions in the church and how they have developed over the centuries. And not only traditions in the church, traditions in denominationalism, uh, traditions <clears throat> that may or may not theologically line up exactly with the Word of God. I don't know about you, but in speaking with people and witnessing to people, teaching Sunday school and so on, I don't know how many times I have heard over the years and decades of my life, when you bring up the subject of salvation, to an individual to talk to them uh, about it. One of the most common and one of the first answers you receive a lot of times is, <clears throat> well, I was baptized when I was eight years old. I was baptized when I was 12 years old. And you can put in any number of that. Um, or they will say, oh yes, I've been baptized. And I realize that we associate water baptism with salvation, but when we come up with that answer, <clears throat> we are placing emphasis on a religious ceremony that we do instead of the blood of Jesus. Now, we may think different, and we just use that as a testimony to our salvation. But what we first pronounce in just about all cases is truly what we believe. Uh, believing <clears throat> that if you have been water baptized, uh, that is signification uh that you are saved. <clears throat> and most of the time, it signifies to the individual the means and method by which they were saved. And that's what we want to talk about uh, for the next couple of programs. Uh, I realize there's some... Uh, strong various feelings on this subject <clears throat> that you may or may not uh, agree with me on. All I ask again is you just 
hear me out, go back, check the scripture, and let the Holy Spirit witness to you what he would pertaining to this topic. Is water baptism necessary for salvation? Or if I want to shorten it, <clears throat> I can throw a curve and say, is baptism necessary for salvation? On that second statement I just made, is baptism necessary for salvation? The short answer is yes. You must be baptized by the Holy Spirit into Jesus to be saved. On the first part, <clears throat> is water baptism necessary for salvation? The answer is no. It is only a symbol of your death, burial, resurrection with Christ. It does not play a part in the salvation <clears throat> process because it is a religious ceremony performed by a man on another individual or performed by one human on another human. It is nothing more than a religious act or a religious ceremony. In Ephesians 2 verse 8, and we'll put it up on the screen for you, for it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not of yourselves, but it is the gift of God, not as a result of your works, so that no one can boast or take credit in any way. See, the first thing that comes out of an individual's mouth when they say, yes, I was baptized when I was 12 years old. That's me taking credit. That's me boasting about what I did. Now, you may not have thought about it in that realm or in that respect, but just think about it. when we say, yes, I was blah, blah, blah. It is putting the emphasis on me and taking the emphasis away from the blood of Jesus. Without the blood of Jesus, child of God, there is nothing that is going to be beneficial to us that we can do to ascertain our salvation, to get in better uh, relationship with God. If we don't put total and complete emphasis on Him and what He has done, <clears throat> then I am trying to edge in and be a part of something that God says through His Word is a gift to me. So if, if it is a gift, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of yourself, but it is the gift of God. If I attach anything to that gift, I am saying that gift that God gave me was not sufficient. Yes, God started it, but I have to complete it. And you can readily see how absurd that is. If God gives me something, it is going to be total and complete. And that gift is going to be totally sufficient for what that gift was intend to, intended to cover. If I think in my mind that I have to do something in addition to what God gave me to complete his work, 
then I'm also saying that his atonement for our sin on the cross was not sufficient. That it was only a partial atonement. It was a incomplete atonement and therefore we take the cross and his shed blood and then we add some work that we do whether it's confession whether it's begging God to forgive us whether it's water baptism no matter what it is if we add anything to his atonement I am saying God you did pretty good you know you 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 did pretty good but you didn't finish it and therefore we are required to finish the work that you started even though you said it is complete we have to finish it to make our salvation complete no it's just the fact that our human nature wants to own part of our salvation we want to be a part of it and feel like we have some ownership in it without just resting in the gift that God gave us 